Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Octavia Burner. She was one of the first ones to send me this story that's going viral on Facebook. This video just irked the hell out of me. I'm so tired of all these fake ass Facebook revolutionaries, all these fake ass Facebook wannabe heroes. So in this video we have this big heavy breathing bitch and she ends up walking into this apartment. There's two kids there. She ends up showing the kids his faces and she's basically showing how trifling this house is and she's calling the kids' mother dirty bitch this video is just really really disturbing go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary I'm dead ass serious she needs to go down history for this shit Mika where's your mother she's not here so you're here by yourself no. who's here where he at <laughs> let me see excuse me look at this shit look at this shit hmm hmm Dirty bitch. Your mother's a dirty fucking bitch. Dirty. Yeah. Dumb dirty. This ain't your house. This is somebody else's house. Dumb fucking dirty. Where's the uncle? Where's the fucking uncle? Where's your uncle at? Where's your uncle? Because I don't see nobody's uncle. I don't see nobody here watching y'all. Well, don't I'm see okay nothing. How do you? I'm 15 years old. No, you're not. Yes, I am. How old are you? I'm 15 years old. 13. 15. 13. 15. This I is disgusting. This is fucking disgusting. All right, can you get out? Yeah. All right, so you guys just oh, yeah. saw that video. First, let me start by saying this. My thing is I can't stand fake ass people. She wants to come in like she's doing something for these kids and like she's concerned about the kids when it's clearly obvious she's not. First of all, for the kids to let her in means that this woman has been in this apartment several times. She was comfortable sitting her ass in that apartment, chopping up with the mom, having a good old funky time. But now that possibly her and the mother are into it, now she wants to put her on blast. So my thing is if you could sit there in that filth with this family, then you have no business putting them on blast. Another thing, you never know why why somebody's situation is like that. Yes, there's clothes everywhere. Yes, the house is a mess. Yes, there's dirty dishes. But I didn't see a bunch of rats running around. I didn't see a bunch of roaches. I didn't see a bunch of, you know, we seen worse shit than that before on Facebook, okay? I didn't see a lot of that. What I see is two teenagers. They're saying they're 15 and 13 years old, meaning they're old enough to clean up. For all we know, the mother's at work. She's trying to, you know, juggle several jobs. And these kids are being lazy and they're not cleaning up after themselves. Those kids are more than capable of keeping that house clean. You know, the sad thing is you never know the truth behind these Facebook videos. And for this so-called neighbor and friend to try and act like she's there to help these kids out. But all she wanted to do was blast the mother. What she doesn't realize is that while you're trying to be an attention whore and blast the mother, you also blasted the children. Now, thousands of people are seeing this video. Video. They're gonna recognize the kids' face from that video, their voices and everything else. Meanwhile, you managed to keep your motherfucking ass out the video so that way you couldn't necessarily be blasted. The whole situation to me is a shame. If you were truly concerned about those kids, if you were truly concerned for their well-being and how messy the house is, either you would come there and try and find a solution with the mother, talk to her, possibly help her clean up, or try and help her out with her situation and her children, as opposed to trying to blast her on Facebook and judge her in front of the world. So to me, that video came off as very disingenuous and I get so tired of people trying to put other people on blast via Facebook looking for accolades and kudos from people who don't get two shits about them in the first damn place, okay? If you're so high and mighty and your apartment saw that and you're so super clean, then you would have no business even being in their place like that. You would be so disgusted that you wouldn't even want to go up in there. If you were super concerned, you would have called DSS, you would have called, you know, Child Protective Services, but instead you decide to be a super snoop and post the shit on Facebook. I'm gonna need this heavy breathing ass bitch to have several damn seeds. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you feel like this friend was so called being genuine and trying to look out for these kids? Or do you feel like she's being very disingenuine by going off on the kids, talking about their mother, cussing about their mother, and literally not having no type of solution to help these children? You know, opening up the refrigerator, trying to show that the refrigerator wasn't full of food, but yet and still this bitch didn't come with a fruit basket. She didn't come with a jug of milk. She she didn't come with anything to help these children. She just came in to be the judge, jury, and the executioner. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. 
Talk to y'all later. Deuces.